All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valhelsia 2, guys. Today we're going to be starting off getting the uh, the bonsai pots and all that stuff automated and for our, our refined storage system. But first, guys, I want to go ahead and do something with you off camera. I've got everything we need here to make a 250 say, 256k storage part here, which is awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead here. Let's get some of these processors made up. I, I've made some upgrades off camera that I need to show you guys because they are just, they're just quality of life things, really. Uh, so if we come down here, you can see that nothing really seems to have changed, except now these are red. Now these red pipes from Mechanism transfer 5.12 kFe per tick. So they're five times as good as the other ones, the green ones we were using. And I went ahead and replaced all of them, so we are not bottlenecking as much. Now these cables aren't actually as good as the quarry can produce. Because if you remember correctly, we are producing five or 6.5k right now. That's because we have got the cool dry ice in here. Um, so they still can't quite keep up, and we still have this guy limited here so it doesn't sap all of our power which is good. As you can see it's good to go. This is also the fortune quarry, and I also lowered it about another five blocks so it wouldn't destroy our base when we were doing some excavation. So yeah, let's go ahead. We should have everything we need for this now. Oh, it's one, a 10, 24, now nah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yes, 256K drive, ready, boom. Look at that, 384,000. We are Gucci. We are Gucci. We are Gucci. Look, there's only 32 over here. We have 384K over here. That's freaking nuts. That's nucking futz. Anyways, so we have got quite a bit of clay here. Now, we're, I want to go ahead and start getting this processed. Uh, so if we come, we'll just come over here to this guy. Yeah, we'll throw you here like so. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and actually upgraded this to the max speed and efficiency. So this is only using 200 FE per tick. I do want to go ahead and upgrade this quite a bit, actually, but it's getting us all of the, the Gucci good stuff. We can go ahead and throw that in here. We do have quite a few clay bars. They should be here, yes. So if we come like that, that makes us the bonsai pots. It's not really what we want. We want these guys, which are called botany pots. Okay, so botany pots, botany pots. Oh, and we can make them gray, green make them green not gray green okay so what we need to go ahead and do is smelt some of this up um yeah boom like so i don't know that one might be maxed out as well check it out we can make all the clay we could ever need thank you mr Corey. you're amazing i love your face it's so beautiful so yeah as you can see 1.4k uranite we are definitely a positive on what we're mining here uh, so it does mean we can go ahead and upgrade our system here significantly and i have been using a lot of the redstone to make some of the upgrades these guys the infused alloy so redstone's good this is good look at all the dry ice we have 3k we are we are positive so it is it is producing more power possible than what it's using and that is an amazing spot to be in so all we need to do Let's make a bunch of these flower pots. Now, that might have been a little bit too much because down here, I want to go ahead and punch out a wall. And we're just going to have a big old section dedicated to all of our amazing plants because we are going to be botanists after this. It's going to be great, okay? You know you're going to love it because you're going to be so nature friendly. Yeah, I'm still working on a 5K special, okay? Just give me some time. I promise I'll get one out to you guys. I need to. All right, so with this all done here, we do have that kind of punched out a little bit. Now it feels a little bit kind of symmetrical. Uh, if we do that, it feels really symmetrical, but that is amazing. Boom, look at that. Kaboom Foamtastic with OxyClean, you know? Just bam. That's feeling, that's feeling real symmetrical here. Now we do need to cut this off. I don't want this to actually go past... Yeah, with that maxed out, that sh these should be good. So this is where we are going to cut it off here, and this is where we're going to open up into our bigger area. Uh, so we need to emulate this on the other side. I just remembered this. I'm glad I did, because I would be big sad. I can't place blocks. What is going on here? Okay, and then here should be, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is where we're going to put all of our pots in. All of our plants, we're gonna, don't worry guys, this is gonna look really good here soon. 
So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have probably two rows, uh, and I do want to have glass on the front of this. So we need to have kind of we need to kind of have it come back here like that. Yeah, and all of the um, all of the storage drawers underneath are all gonna be connected. So it's gonna look real good. Now I don't know what block we're gonna use on the inside of here. We will do that today. We'll we'll we'll, we'll put some finishing touches on it. You know that's how we gotta roll. That's how we roll. We roll like this. You know. Okay. So down here, it's looking mighty mighty fine. Mighty mighty fine. So this is where it's gonna be. We're gonna have a bottom layer here. So we're gonna have to actually pop this out. Unfortunately. Because this is where all of the storage drawers are going to be. And we're going to have to combine these all together with... Uh, it's the drawer controllers. We're going to have to combine them together with. Yeah. yeah right there. Alright. So this is what it's going to look like here. Um, this is a really rough idea of it. So that it'll kind of look like that. And it'll be capped off. Um, we need to have this space up here, otherwise the trees up top won't be able to grow. Now, I don't honestly think that we'll be able to make that work, but we're gonna try, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Um, the only thing I do think that might be an issue is the, the, the pots down here. Uh, so we might end up having to just take these, the top ones out. Uh, if that's the case, then we might do a little bit of rearranging, which I do think we will now. Uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and see about getting some of these set up. Now, I don't... How much cactus? Yeah, I got some cactus. Cool. Cactus is Gucci. So we can throw that in the air and start getting some of the the cactus green. We're going to pair that up with some of the, the bone that we got. Cactus paste. Perfect. Here, 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 here. Nope, not you. You, yes. Okay, so we get lime from that. Now we need to find the terracotta. Perfect. Okay. So now we combine these together to make these guys. So we have 25 of these. Perfect. Okay, so we definitely need to set one of these up uh for sugar cane so let's go ahead and grab some sugar cane from outside uh we also need to get some sand best way to do that is with the botania stuff all right so if we look here stand away so we don't accidentally pick up the the cobble perfect all right so we can actually after this is set up we won't need these here anymore which will make it look even better hey skelet or squidum all right, so if we look here, we're going to put sand in each of these, and then we're also, where's that somber dad? He's up there. He's dead. So that, yeah, look at that. That's working perfect. Uh, so now we need to just, yep, okay. So we're going to be producing a heck ton of sugar cane now. Uh, now, I do believe it'll probably be a good idea just to make this actually I thought of a really good idea okay so we need to break this okay let me just read let me just redo this okay so this is what I'm thinking here we got cactus here we got a sugar cane here we even got our our flax seeds here I seem to have missed this one no problem but yeah so these are all growing here in the pots which is all we perfect all the stuff we need we need the sugar cane obviously for other stuff uh i do have it going into one here so the flax seeds are going to get voided these guys so we're only going to get the flax fiber which is really good uh we'll need to upgrade each of these as well with a decent amount so i don't think we should move the other items in here just yet i also want to add in the trees i think the trees are going to be the staggered ones um but other than that uh, yeah, so these should, we should start seeing some of these pop in, especially the sugar cane, stuff like that. Uh, I don't think there's any way to speed these up. Now, I did have to set these all manually. That's why we're able to see the flax, uh, stuff here. Uh, but what we do need to do is connect these via trim. Now, if we look at trim here, we need the spruce option because we're using the spruce trim. They just need a stack of it, I guess, which is fine by me. But we're going to run this through the back here. Yep, 
just like so. And this will, oops, I need not to do that. This will connect all of our drawers together so we can put a drawer controller in here and start seeing all the items. Very cool. All right, so we do have the drawer controller here. We're gonna try to put this in the center so that it does reach everything. Um, so let's see, I think the best spot to put it probably just be right here. Now we are gonna need to run our key, our external storage bus over. So let's just run it over here. I do like building in a cave, honestly, because every once in a while you get really fortunate and you get to use the cave for all of your cabling. So yeah. We're just gonna run cable, we're gonna run it back one, actually back two for future uh, necessities. And so all we need to do is kill skeleton. Yes, kill a skeleton. I hear a witch. Oh yeah, I hear one. I don't know where she is though. It is okay. So we run our cable from, actually we probably just connect that here. Okay, so it's connected up now. Perfect, did come down a little bit too far here. So let's see if we can see the items. Actually, did we reconnect everything? We did not, okay. Trim is all connected. We should see the flax. Okay, we do see a total of six here. I don't know if that's from earlier. What about sugar cane? I know we didn't have in the earlier. Okay. Oh, that's not done yet. Do I need to make these hop? Oh! Yeah, I messed up. We need to make these hopper ones. Okay, so all we have to do is combine these together. I've made a derp. I've made a herp a derp. It's okay. Uh, what do you do? Okay, there we go. These will work now. Yep, oh, each of those are good to go. I uh, will do cactus in the middle, actually. And then we'll just do sugar cane here, which means when I go AFK now, I can just, I can be gaining all the sugar cane resources that I ever needed. So if I put, oh, that's not where that goes. If I put the sugar cane here, this is what I'm worried most about. Do we see the sugar cane at all? <gasps> we do. Look at that, guys. It works. It, they're, it, they're within range. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So the next option for us is actually to just break these guys. Now we don't need them anymore. Yeah, that was a lot of cactus. I was not really prepared for it. Now, we do need to upgrade these, which is what we're going to be working on now. Um, yeah, so now we have the cactus in our system. Now, let's go see. Do we have more sugar cane available now? Yes. Oh, it's so good, guys. It's so good. That's a lot of cactus. Okay. And then... Actually, I just grabbed some more. Could I have some more... That'll be the door. Okay. Look at that. We're freeing up some room. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I wish we could... Well, we actually can not bump this out one more, but it'll be a little off on this end. Um, why is this one even? Oh, we need to bump that in another one. That makes sense. Oh, well, we'll do that later. I'll do it off camera. But guys, look at all this. These are all set up perfect. Give me one other moment. Okay, so we're just going to upgrade all of these with a bunch of the the gold tier um, upgrades here. These give us eight times the storage, which is awesome. 
So if we look over here, so one, two, three, four, five. Each of these, so we get 16 times more storage with these. Eventually we will put the void upgrades on here. Uh, actually, we can just go ahead and do that now. We do, I believe, have enough. Oh my gosh, we have six. Oh my gosh, I made way too many. Uh, so each of these has the void upgrade, so there won't be any lag uh, because after the items overflow, uh, they just get destroyed, which means I can't upgrade all of the other these guys here with them. We already have them installed. Yeah, so those are the bulk items that get processed through the quarry. Uh, so these will not uh, overflow. They'll start to destroy if they get too much, and they won't fill into our system. So we'll, we're all good to go there. Okay, guys, so it has been a little bit of time here. As you can see, we have 32,000 nether quartz now. That is incredible. I don't know if we'll ever need that much nether quartz so yeah we even got the uh, we got so much stuff look at all this we even got all these dimensional shards which is amazing i've done some work down here guys i've done some work <laughs> so i also went ahead and upgraded all these to the ultimate tier uh very simple to make those um i also upgraded these to the elite one so all these have left is the ultimate after that these ones are still in the this one is still in the green not even in the red but you know that's how it works i also did this uh, i do plan on putting glass here i don't know if we're going to do the block or, or glass panes not sure yet but yeah guys it is looking great i don't really know what i'm gonna do here now this is like a, a large marble brick that i really do like because it's a little bit different from this marble brick from cork uh, it's from embellished craft and it looks a bit odd if we look at that that's not how it normally looks it normally looks like that um, but this is like the opposite so I'm definitely liking it uh, quite a bit it's just uh, another texture uh, we have the basalt bricks all around uh, I also upgraded these to the ultimate logistical transport cables here so these are stupid fast and yeah having a good time these up here are the um, tube lights from um, extended lighting they're basically just like fluorescent lights I don't know what we're gonna do for the lighting here on the ground if you guys have any suggestions um, like how we can make that look good but we are getting full we have over uh, 64,000 items stored in one of these we're getting close on this one but we do have quite a bit of room here which is good but uh, yeah we're getting getting lots and lots of materials so I'm thinking I'm thinking that uh, maybe it's time to upgrade the reactor for the, the remaining part of this episode. So we can just go here and we made, yeah, um, made the basic one so we can make the hardened one. Uh, this requires energized steel. Uh, which is made with the energized orb thing. So we can go ahead and make this guy up. Um, yeah, it should be... Oh, all we need is glass, huh? All right, so we got the glass here. Bam, okay, energized orb. Let's see how the heck does this work. Okay, um, so we have to go here. Energized steel requires these two items. Energizing rock. <sighs> terribly sorry i am stupid tired for some reason did have a live stream if you guys missed that it was fun we played on the super turtle fan server uh but let's just make uh these guys here oh you need the starters huh okay that's simple i think we just need two of them okay we need these guys I'm pretty sure we just need two. Okay, so these guys are made up. These are just the uh, the basic ones. Let's grab some cable here. Uh, yeah, we can just grab these guys. Let's find a good spot for them. Um, hmm, I think we need to just straight up make some more cable here. Okay. So let's, I'm just going to move, I'm going to put the stuff over here and then we'll be back. All right, so I've never used these before, so I'm not sure if we need uh, this guy to have power, but we're going to give it to him anyway. Uh, so let's see here. Doesn't seem to want to connect to that. That's fine. What about you? 
What the heck? Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess it connects to that. That's really weird. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab some iron and some gold here, because uh, we got to make these guys. So it says boom, boom equal that. Okay. Whoa, dude. Do we really have to make these one at a time? Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to make these one at a time. I'm gonna be here for a bit, uh, but this is how this works. Okay, so we got 40 of these. Let's see if that will be enough to make enough of these guys, basically. Okay, so we do need to go ahead and make some of these guys. Uh, which should be pretty simple to make there. I don't remember how much of this uh, paste we have, but we seem to have quite a bit. Um, we should need more than 16 of them, really. We're out of the paste. Shoot. Oh, we're out of buckets? What? What kind of madness is this? Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make a whole bunch more of these buckets. Uh, I'm going to get a tank here, and I'm going to go get some lava. And we're going to fill up some of these tanks here. Do we have enough for you? Oh, dang, we do. Check that out. Okay, so I'm going to fill this up with lava, guys, and I will be back in a second. Sorry. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and test something out here. I have an external... Uh, storage set up for foods here with our tank filled up with lava. Now I do have some extra lava buckets on me, but I want to go ahead and see what happens. Now it's probably just going to force us to keep doing this, which is kind of lame. That's fine. We can just, we get a lot for this. Okay, so let's see here. So we we can auto craft it now, which is which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead here and continue to make our stuff. So we made twenty of those now. Okay, what do we need in the middle? We need let's see four times. What is it? Four times nine is thirty six. We need a total of thirty six of them. Um, I don't think we have enough. We got 20. Ah. Back to the clicky click. Okay, so we got the total amount of the reactor pieces we need, which is awesome to see. Uh, so if we go like this with our vein miner and go pop. Oh, that made me nervous for a second. It shouldn't have, but it did. All right, so we got our 36 of this guy here. Now we just need to do this. Yay, check it out. So this all should be getting filled up. We don't want snowballs in here. Yep, we want the dry ice. And we are generating 12,000 RF per tick. Now, obviously, our cables can't hold up to that. Uh, so we are definitely going to have to be working on getting some more diamonds because that is our bottleneck right now. Um, if we look here at our diamonds, we only have 35. Now, because we have so much, so many blocks of coal, this could be our go around uh, because there is a thing that we've made here that's called a compressor. Now, I do not want to automate this whatsoever, um, but this is eight diamonds here. So, it, like every, I think it compresses every 16 stacks of blocks of coal and down into one thing of diamonds. Um, so we can actually go ahead, because we have the power tap still over here, we can run it here. So that comes here. This will have power, and we can throw this in. Now, this will compress. We can put upgrades in here to make it faster, uh, but that will compress coal blocks down into diamonds. I'm going to be running this here uh, off camera. So what we can go ahead and do is we can just get a simple hopper. All right? We can get a simple hopper and a drawer we can kind of automate it to a point that i'm comfortable with um yeah so like this now all we need to do is basically it'll get to a stack and then it will stop uh, because of this so we'll just put in the amount of coal that we want to convert into diamonds like so 
And that way we still have enough left for our quarry uh, to be running off of. So we have power for everything. Uh, but then we can throw all of that in there. So all of those diamond, all of that coal will be compressed into the diamonds. And this will stop when it gets to 64 and I'll just come out and clear it. But that that is definitely going to be a bit faster than what we're doing now because we're having issues with that. Now, is there any way to automate coal? Um, a foxhound. Okay, maybe a spawner. Uh, if you throw one coal in here, the conjuring catalyst, you can get two coal out of it. Uh, you can do it with torches. Uh, can't really find a way to automate it other than this. This fox hound. Uh, a wither skeleton. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get a wither skeleton farm. Uh, we might be able to do that. Now, I do know that we can get spawners in this. If we get silk touch on a pickaxe or something like that, we can go in my head and mine those spawners. I don't know if we can change them, though. But, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. I'm wearing my cool suit from the live stream earlier today. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And, as always, don't forget to subscribe. But, guys, it's been Super Turtle. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.